Well, the black owned restaurant tour is just one of many events. The downtown partnership is putting on during the CIAA tournament and join us now is Shalanda Stokes. She is the president of the downtown partnership. This is an exciting time, Shalanda. It is so exciting. <laughs> Our city is going to be electric. It's good. Listen, it's good to see you. And I remember from last year, you really put it on big. I mean, between the hotels <laughs> and the restaurants, I just don't know what you do to make this grow even more. And it seems like you're doing it. Oh, we are doing it. We took all of the things that worked well last year, kept those, mm -hmm. figured out what didn't so that we could fix it and then double down. Yeah. So this year is going to be exciting. Just give people a taste on, on what the city felt when people came and spent money and went to restaurants and even went to, the games were almost like the last thing on the list. Right. <laughs> no, that is, well, let's not tell that to the CIC. I yeah, 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 no. <laughs> care about the games, <laughs> but you are right. When you talk about people coming to town and all of that, it, last year was amazing. And that was our first year, our first real year, having it coming out of COVID. I don't know if you know, I mean, we had it back in 1952, <laughs> but last year when you came, the streets were filled. It felt good. And part of what we know in any dynamic and energy of a city it's walkability is having people on the street and going to those games. So they went to the games last year. They went to the parties. Mm -hmm. They did that. They toured our restaurants. They shopped in our businesses. I mean, it was very good to the tune really of about 13 million dollars wow. in direct 13.9 million in direct economic impact. So think about those numbers hitting our streets directly and what that does to the local economy. It was almost $20,000 of economic impact to the city. From the local businesses that reap some of those rewards, did you hear anything back? What were the reviews from them? Oh my God. So you'll know because this year when we opened up the applications, I mean, it was beaming. <laughs> Everybody wanted to be a part of it. I mean, Jason, last year you had probably what they said, almost 1200 part-time and full-time jobs. So people were in there, they were getting people, they were working. It was 1.9 million in taxes. So think about all of that revenue generating through those businesses, they want it. Yeah, People yeah. are excited about it. Did you feel like you had to do some educating about Baltimore? Because you know that there's a perception of Baltimore outside of our borders. Is that part of what you had to do for the sales job and then coming through? Now you have a product that you can prove. It, absolutely. I mean, you hit the nail on the head last year. And when you talk about it, part of what we knew, we had a good turnout. But people were also a little skeptical. They mm -hmm. didn't know it was our first time. It was, it's been in Charlotte for 15 years. So when it came here, they're like, oh, you know, it's Baltimore. You know, what am I hearing? What am I seeing? And so what was great about it is when they came, the experience was good. And then that message traveled, yeah. right? Because we can say it. Visit Baltimore says it all the time. They talk about the good stuff we're doing. You know, downtown, we all tell a good story, but they feel like we're saying it because we need to. When people came and experienced it and then John and Tanya and Sarah and everybody could take those messages back. I think the PR of that did a lot more for this. And part of the story that comes back to them this year is that you got a whole new place to, to have these games right now. How exciting that, is it that, for oh, you to make that happen? <laughs> you, you have no idea how excited we are about CFD Bank Arena and now having the CIAA tournament here. That is going to be the first mm -hmm event in that arena and they are working around the clock to make sure that we get it they get it right and so you're talking about an experience last year where we had a great ground level experience if you were there you could see it was like a little vip section on the yeah. floor now there are suites and there are party areas and there are other things in that arena that we we haven't had here in baltimore so just think about our our tourists and our mm -hmm. business everybody coming in and getting to experience that plus this high level basketball tournament. It is one plus one equaling what? <laughs> five, 10. Right. I mean, this is going to be great for us. How much can this be exhibit A when people come to you and say, Shalana, you know, I have this conference. I'm thinking about Baltimore. <laughs> is this what you tell you? So turn your page to CIAA and I'll show you what we can do. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to just drop the mic. <laughs> I when I do allow video spins because part, I mean, part of what this does is it showcases our city. When you think about the CIAA tournament and the history of that, right? You're talking about the nation's first African-American athletic conference. This tournament itself is one of the most highly attended basketball tournaments among all of the NCAA divisions. And so, and you're talking about black excellence at its finest in a city that's a majority minority city. An example, I was talking to our team, 
Last year, we had a photographer who went around just, you know, for our restaurant tour, because we got to talk about <laughs> for the black owned restaurant tour um, that we do in partnership with events for good people. Part of what this photographer who was going around, he said, you know what? I've lived in Baltimore all of my life and I've never felt this proud wow. of our city, of our people, of our, because we put on, it's not, it's the tournament. We right. want people to do the tournament, but it's also making sure that we have a tech conference in place so that we're building as we're going. We have financial literacy that's happening. All of those things are, we're making sure that we're showcasing our black and brown businesses, our retail. This is an experience in, that puts our city in the spotlight where we shine well. Mm -hmm. And so this is just, to your point, this is just one of the best. <laughs> sales tools, markers, yeah. events. We're excited. Well, the city's looking forward to it, whether it's the game, the symposiums, and maybe a party in between. Shalana, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you're going to put where people can see us. We Please, 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 we want to make sure that they visit the games. They get tickets to the game at the CIAA.com. We have this pop-up, the three-point pop-up, and the restaurant tour, all of those things please look at it on our web website, GoDowntownBaltimore.com. And for everything else that you need to know, you know, <laughs> Visit Baltimore has it all at Baltimore.org. So please, 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 we hope to see you 21st through the 25th. We love it. Thank you for your time. We all appreciate right. it.